Hey everybody, Tyson with HHO for Life, back again. I um, wanted to show you another video. Um, I, I increased the level of the water this time to show you guys the difference that it makes. And you can actually see bubbles occurring when I do this. You can see them a little bit better. Um, if the camera can kind of let some of the light out a little bit so it's not so bad. Um, but let's check this out. See that sweet blue? I'm gonna try to get a side shot. I can't really see the camera very well. Um. Maybe I can turn the bottle. <laughs> All right. Well, that one cord's starting to float up. I bet it, it. I bet it might be arcing on the. It might be arcing on some of the other cords. Let's see what happens when they the, when they're closer together. When the probes are closer together. It looks like it bubbles more. I don't know if that's just because it's agitating the water more or what when they're closer, but now it's really close. So let's see what happens now. Oh. Alright, well, so let's see the damage. Let's see what it did to our electrical cord or the wiring. All right, let's see if I can do it against this surface. Where it jumped out of the water and stuff, it just started to burn the tip of it. But other than that, you know, the whole rest of the cord looks in pretty dang good shape. I've noticed that this yellow cord Let's see, huh, the yellow cord, let's see what one um, has more of the arc coming off of it. Let me set this down for just a second, guys. Right here. Okay, that way I can get these little two guys in here. I want to see whether the arc's coming off of the green cord or the yellow cord. I wasn't paying attention. It's kind of muggy water. All right, you can see it coming off of the green cord. See that? It gives a different effect on the video. Whoa. Huh. Okay. Now they're kind of touching, so. But anyway, there's a little bit of fun with the microwave transformer. Um, with the electric, with the uh, connections coming off the secondary, submerged into water. Um, so I'm going to do a better way to where I have little um, tabs mounted in the water that I can connect these electrical connections to. So I have an even spacing and I want to be able to make an adjustable one. So 
I can see what happens as the spacing gets closer. Um, I've noticed kind of when the spacing gets closer, it causes that plasma effect um, where you see the bright yellow instead of the blue. Um, so we'll see. I'll do a little bit more experimenting and show you guys. Um, this right here, just so you know, um, these are some parts that came out of the microwave. This right here is a fan and I can connect it directly to this power cord right here and plug it in and it works great. Um, it'd work really good as a cooling fan to cool um, if I were to put a heat sink on this transformer and blow the fan on it, it'd keep my transformer cooler a little bit. Um, and then these are just some electrical connections that are in there that I found as I took it apart. But just some cool little pieces. Um, this little motor that the glass tray sits on. Plug that, you can plug that in with 120 volts as well. Um, little light bulbs, teeny little board right here. And then I also have a capacitor um, right here. Pretty good size capa capacitor. It's 2100 volts AC. If I can get the light shining on it right. This camera's so poor at reading. Um, at reading, at being able to see letters and stuff on things. Golly, I need to get a better camera. But. Anyway, it's a pretty good sized capacitor. Um, it's AC. I don't know if the output's AC as well. I would imagine so since it says AC. Um, but you can always rectify it. So I'm just going to buy some high voltage rectifiers so that I can change high voltage um, AC current that comes through out of capacitors and stuff to DC. Um, but all right. I hope you guys liked it. As always, leave comments. Let me know what you think. Um, have a good day. Keep experimenting yourself and uh, get involved. More people that work on it, the better we are and the faster that that this problem um, is going to get solved with being able to run a car on water. And also running, well, I guess I should say run a car on fracturing water into hydrogen and oxygen gases. And then also running other things off of those gases, like creating electricity um, and different things like that. So, all right. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye.